Let's move into Chris. I don't want to keep you here forever. Let's talk about yeah. just overall outlook. I know we're, we're months away, but the 2021 season for South Carolina specifically and in the SEC as a whole, um, you know, everybody wants to ask me, you know, overall prediction of you know, the ESPN FBI just dropped, which what does that what really the- matter? But yeah, it's at four and a half for the Gamecocks. And I, I think the Vegas over under is probably going to be around five. Four, it might be at four and a half. I don't know, but probably five. I think five is probably going to be the number. Uh, real quick, when, yeah, go ahead. You bring up the FPI, and everyone, everyone goes to ESPN because it's ESPN. They, right. they have like so. And if you look at those numbers they have out, it's incredibly awesome to have because we just are fiending for content in the offseason right. as, as diehard college football fans. But and, and they do they do it like to every possible projection. It's like how right. many wins, how many losses percentage chance they'll get to six wins they'll win their division that they'll win out that they'll win the sec the the national get to the the title all that kind of stuff i just want everyone to hear me when i say this and this is coming from a bama fan but just so you know if you need proof that the fpi is complete shit okay because i know they bring south carolina 68th right and they were like 27th last year for some reason like throughout most of the season Mm -hmm. when lsu beat alabama in 2019 the fpi rankings that factored into when they they brought up all their playoff stuff, right. like like on those Tuesday those Tuesday shows, mm. the FPI had Alabama ranked ahead of LSU for three weeks after they lost to them. So don't put too much right, stock right, in right. that at all. Like it's just it's crazy. Right, for sure. Well, movie. Anyways, either way, the 2021 season. You know, most people ask me yeah. what what are the predictions, expectations, what 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 will be a successful year. I say if you can get to six and six, get to a bowl game, I Mm -hmm. think that's a successful first year under Shane Beamer. When you take a look at this South Carolina football team, again, we're getting the non-conference back, which I think is a huge advantage. I mean, not just for the Gamecocks, but other schools as well. It's funny, last year in 2020, not having the non-conference, it kind of like revealed a lot of teams that would normally just cupcake four wins, like a – you know, I I, I guess Mizzou obviously was a nice story last year, but I know they're a team that I'm always sitting there, I'm like, it's week five. I'm like, who have they played? Like Northwest Mizzou, Missouri State? Like, oh, so they start like, the year with it. Like, I'm like, who I didn't they know play? there was like that many directional Colorado schools until I see <laughs> Florida schedule every year. Yeah. Every single year, it's like Northern Colorado, North yeah. Southern Colorado. Like, how is this thing? <laughs> Southwestern Colorado. But yeah. either way, like I said, I, I say six and six would be a successful year. If you can do that or God forbid better, get to a bowl game you know, kind of get things back on track, especially when you're talking about a program that has won a combined six games the last two years. When you look at this first season under Shane Beamer, are there anything specific? Is there anything specific you're looking for? And what would you deem a successful first year for him in Columbia? I mean, I think getting to a bowl, somebody asked us this the other day, um, like during one of our Facebook lives or something, it was like, do you think that a six and six record and getting to a bowl game would be like that's where the bar should be at. Like, would would that be successful enough in year one? I was like, yeah, like that yeah. that should that is the like that is yeah. where the like the bar should be set right now because, I mean, I know they were going to go to a bowl game last year, but it was like the I mean, yeah, they were two and eight. Like, I mean, yeah, the Gasparilla Bowl. <laughs> yeah, like it's like what? Yeah. So, but I think that like yeah. if if they could do that in year one, I, the the thing is like, and South Carolina is good about this as a fan base in general mm-hmm. is is getting back to like enjoying things and having fun. As Just make program. game day fun again. That, that's literally yeah. it. it. Like, like, the, like everyone loves to tailgate and drink. Like, but you, nobody likes. Well, I mean, some people do. Like to drink until they can't feel feelings, and that's what South Carolina football <laughs> has done for a while. Because it's like you're yeah. like, and, and, and there's a lot of teams that do it, but it's like you know, I, I think that as a fan base, and there's not really that many other fan bases out there to deserve it more than than South Carolina because they show up every single year right. and every single Saturday, but. Getting to a bowl game, no matter what the bowl game is, if it's it's literally being played in your fucking backyard, like that, that is a success because it's right. like, I think you were deprived of so much of this mm. under under Muschamp, and it was it was so maddening to watch Muschamp because we talked about this at the start of the show, even his highest of highs were in the middle of like the lowest of lows. Like, oh, yeah. we beat Georgia. Like, you wasted the. You wasted. You remember the, the scene in Big Daddy's? Like we wasted the good surprise on you. That's what they did when they beat yeah. Georgia. It's like I mean, they they beat Georgia and then that same season lost to App State. I mean, you just well, can't. It was pretty good, but still. Like, I, I mean, mean, but yeah, you're yeah. right. Like yeah. like it's in, like at the end of the year, you you beat a number three team in the country on the road, and then you go four and eight, and you're like, damn it, must shit. Like how did yeah. we do that? So I, I think that like some level of consistency is is like. We just, I, I feel like if it's six and six and it's middle of the road, yeah, and you're just not and just be competitive, like just don't get your year? doors yeah. blown off, you know, every big game. I mean, honestly, mm-hmm. 
So, you know, like you said, make game day fun again. I kind of equate it to last year, you know, Lane Kiffin at Ole Miss. Ole Miss wasn't some juggernaut, but, God, no. they were fun to watch. I mean, they're yeah. just fun to watch. That's all Shane Beamer has to do in year one. Just make it fun to watch. That's an improvement yeah. from, the, from the last regime.